Good morning, my friends. Hello. Thank you so much for being at Storytime today with me. My name is Miss Christina, and I am a children's librarian at the Brookline Village location of the Public Library of Brookline. Thank you so much again. I am so glad that you're here with me this morning. Should we get started and say hello to each other? Can you show me hands that wave hello? Fantastic. We'll sing a song with those. We'll sing. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? I'm fine, I hope you are too. I'm fine, I hope you are too. I'm fine, I hope you are too. I hope you're fine today. I do hope that you're doing fine today. Can you clap your hands? Clap. Clapping my hands, you do it too. I'm clapping my hands, you do it too. I'm clapping my hands, you do it too. Clap your hands with me. Fantastic. Let's stomp our feet. Stomping my feet, you do it too. I'm stomping my feet, you do it too. I'm stomping my feet, you do it too. Stomp your feet with me. Beeping my nose, you do it too. I'm beeping my nose, you do it too. I'm beeping my nose, you do it too. Beep your nose with me. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? Fantastic job, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for welcoming me into your homes today. You are welcome to mine. You might hear some very big trucks on the street outside of my house, but hopefully I can be louder than them. All right. Should we get started with our first book today? It is one of my favorite stories to read aloud. It is called When Dinosaurs Came With Everything. And it is by Elise Broach and illustrated by David Small. And we are reading it today with permission from Simon and Schuster. Friday is errand day. My mom goes on boring errands, and I have to go with her. He does not look very happy about that. And this Friday seemed like every other Friday until we got to the bakery. A 
sign above the donuts read, buy a dozen, get a dinosaur. Well, I couldn't believe my eyes. Neither could my mom. They must mean a toy, she said. But when I took the box of donuts, the lady behind the counter said, hold on, little guy. Don't forget your dinosaur. And there he was. Mom, I yelled. It was a triceratops. What? cried my mom. She did not look happy. How are we supposed to get that home? The bakery lady smiled. Oh, don't worry. He'll follow you. They always do. And he did. All the way to the doctor's office where I had to go for my checkup. My mom shook her head. What are we going to do with him now? She looked him up and down. That took a while. We can't bring him inside, she said finally. He'll have to stay in the parking lot. I told him not to talk to strangers. After my checkup, I asked for a sticker, like usual. No stickers today, said the nurse, just dinosaurs. With a shot, you get two. I want a shot, I said. The nurse smiled. Not today, buddy, but you can pick up your dinosaur at the front desk. <gasps> Mom, I yelled. There at the front desk was a stegosaurus. What on earth is going on? My mom cried. It's a special day, the nurse explained. Today, dinosaurs come with everything. Yes, I said. No, my mom groaned. We walked down the street and my triceratops and my stegosaurus walked right behind us. Thud, thud, thud. They made friends right away. Across the street, other kids had dinosaurs too. I saw an ankylosaur, a duckbill, and a velociraptor. We all waved at each other. Our mothers glared and kept walking. How do you think your mom or dad would feel if you brought home a dinosaur? Would it fit in your house? Probably not. I mean, it depends on the dinosaur, I guess. I think we'd better go home right now, my mom said. But what about my haircut? The barber's waiting for me. My mom looked at the dinosaurs and then she looked at my bangs. The barber always gives you a balloon, doesn't he? A nice balloon? Uh-huh, I said, and I didn't want a balloon. I wanted a barasaur. At the barber shop, I gave my triceratops and my stegosaurus donuts for a snack. They waited outside and watched through the glass. It was like that everywhere we went. At the shoe store, the sign read, buy two pair, get dinosaur free. My mom decided that my shoes would last a little while longer. At the theater, we could hear the popcorn man shouting, butter, no butter. You want a dinosaur with that? My mom said we'd go to the movies another day. At the diner, I wanted to stop for a hamburger. But then a girl walked out with a Tyrannosaurus Rex.
Okay, that's it, my mom cried. We are definitely not having lunch there. She looked at my Triceratops, my Stegosaurus, and my Pterosaur. Oh, I think he got the Pterosaur at the barber shop. We might have maybe that page stuck together. What are we supposed to do with all of these dinosaurs? We don't have room for them. We can't take care of them. I hugged her leg. Don't worry, Mom. They can live in the backyard. My mom shook her head. Sweetheart, they're not toys. Dinosaurs are a lot of work. Oh, but Mom, look, they eat anything and they sleep outside. I'll do everything, I promise. Please, Mom, please. My mom sighed. Well, I suppose we can't just leave them here. Thank heavens we didn't stop at the diner. We hurried home and my dinosaurs hurried after us. Thud, 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 flap, flap, flap. When we were almost there, we saw a little duckbill dinosaur standing alone on the street corner. He looked lost. Mom, that's a baby hadrosaur. He's all by himself. Sweetie, we've already got our hands full. The hadrosaur followed us. It wasn't my fault. Except, what is he holding out the car window? A donut. I would follow a donut as well. I can't blame the dinosaur. When we got home, my mom needed to lie down. So I made lunch for all of the dinosaurs. Then I showed them where to go to the bathroom. I told them to stay out of the neighbor's yard because of his mean dog. Does that dog look mean right now though? Or does he look maybe a little nervous about his new neighbors? And I showed them my slide, my tire swing, and all the toys in the garage. They seemed to be having fun, but they really went wild when I took out my Frisbee. The hadrosaur had the first throw, and the Frisbee landed on the roof. I saw my mom watching from the window. Is everything all right out there? She asked. Everything's fine, Mom. We can get it down. And my pterosaur flew up and plucked the frisbee out of the gutter. My mom kept watching. She looked at him for a long time. The next thing I knew, she had him cleaning the gutters. Then she came out to the backyard with a pile of wet clothes. These spikes come in handy, don't they? She said. Pretty soon, my mom had thought of chores for all of my dinosaurs. But I knew they didn't mind. It just meant that they were part of the family. It's an important part of being part of the family, is helping each other out. When we were finished helping, my mom said I could invite some friends over. It was a bring your own dinosaur party. And guess what happened next? I heard my mom on the phone to the bakery. She asked, do you have any donuts left? And that's when I knew everything would be just fine. We had mom coming home with all of those donuts and all of those dinosaurs. And that is when dinosaurs came with everything. That would be a pretty exciting and pretty chaotic day, I think, if you went out and dinosaurs came with everything. Oh, look, it looks like some of our friends are here. Hi, Tommy and Victoria. Hi, Alice. Thanks so much for being here today, guys. All right. Should we sing a song? I'm in the mood for a song. I keep hearing all of these big trucks and buses outside of my window. So maybe we will sing a song for them. 
Did you bring a bus with you today? Are you ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The driver on the bus goes, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus goes, move on back, all through the town. The Babies on the bus go wah, 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 wah. The babies on the bus go wah, 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 all through the town. The Grown-ups on the bus go shh, 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 shh. The grown-ups on the bus go shh, 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 all through the town. Fantastic bus driving, my friends. You did great. All right, maybe we'll sing another song. Do you have a spider with you today? Bust it out. We'll sing one of my favorite songs. Are you ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Fantastic job. Can you find another spider? We'll sing it one more time. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up 
the spout again. Fantastic. Spidering, my friends. All right. Should we squeeze in another book? I think we should. Our next book is called Round. And it is by Joyce Sidman and illustrated by Tayin Yu. And we are reading it today with permission from Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. What kind of shape is a round shape? Can you tell what kind of shape is a round shape? It's a circle. I think this book is going to be about things that are circles. I love round things. See what's round here? There's a round ball and a round sun. I like to feel their smoothness. My hands want to reach around their curve. They have round oranges, delicious. Things that are round are very smooth. They don't have any sharp edges. <clears throat> I love to see round things grow. Some start out round like a seed or an egg waiting to hatch. Some swell into roundness budding, ripening, like delicious round blueberries. Stretching toward the sun. There are so many round things in this picture too. There's round sunflowers. There's that beautiful round sun again. And there's a round balloon. Some are a different shape to begin with, but slowly over time, all the sharp edges wear off. That is called erosion. I love to watch round things move. They are so good at it. Rolling, spinning, bouncing. I always wonder where they're headed. It's really easy to move around things, isn't it? Wheels are round and wheels help us move things. I love round things when they're hidden and you have to discover them. Some hold secrets inside. Some are almost too tiny to see. Let's see if we can get close and see what's happening here. There's a round ladybug and it's a little hard to tell because of my, my camera here, but there are all sorts of tiny round eggs that the ladybug just laid. I love how water can be round, gathered in beads of silver or falling in wet splats, leaving circles of ripples behind. You've probably seen ripples when it's rained. I love when round things pop up quickly and last only a moment. What are these round things? Can you tell? They're bubbles. Or spin together slowly and last billions of years. All of the stars up in the sky here are round too. Or show themselves night after night rounder and rounder, 
until the whole sky holds its breath. What's something that is big and round in the sky? We saw the sun earlier when it was daytime, but it looks like it's nighttime right now. What is big and round in the sky at nighttime, I wonder? It's probably the moon. They're looking at the moon. I can be round too. In a circle of friends with no one left out. Or I can curl myself into a warm round ball. That looks very cozy, being a warm round ball with some books. I love round things. Are hugs round? Hugs can be round, I think. They go around. Oh, thank you so much for reading that book with me today. All right, our first book was kind of long. So I think that we only have time for one more song today, but before we sing it, just a few quick announcements for the grown-ups. Um, this is going to be our last story time for two weeks. We are going um, on a little bit of a break to kind of uh, reset for the fall. So look for us. We'll be back the Thursday after Labor Day. We'll be off for two weeks and then closed for Labor Day, which is a Monday, which is another story time day, but then we'll be back that next Thursday. In the meantime, though, we will not leave you bereft. You can visit our YouTube channel and see all sorts of videos with songs and rhymes um, and all sorts of good stuff. So you can watch those, read your own books at home, and, you know, create your own story time experience. All right, and just in case you haven't heard yet, the library system for picking up your holds has changed just a little bit. You no longer need to make an appointment to come pick up your items. Instead, what you'll do is once you receive your holds, um, your items are ready email, you can just visit the library, meet a staff member at the door, give them your name, and then they'll go into the library and retrieve your items for you. Our hours have changed a little bit, so make sure that you check our website for our updated operational hours before you come visit us. We would hate for you to come when we're not there. All right. I think that's all I have for today, you guys. Thank you so, so much for being here. Can you show me hands that wave goodbye? Story time went so fast today. Are you ready? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Thank you so much for coming to Storytime today, my friends. I'm Miss Christina. We will see you in September. Bye, guys.